Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy and Reese, and we are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Old video for you today. It is Friday, May 7th, and we're gonna follow Kathy around. I think we had 12 sales as of right now. So here's Kathy, and what do we got? All right. eBay first, A-O. Yeah. Reese's working hard. Catching those Z's. Right, so these are some Nike women's slides handles from the bins up in Denver. So part of the stimulus check challenge. Uh, so I have about a dollar and some change into them. They sold for eighteen eleven plus ship, and they sold the first day I listed them. So and then I sold these Nintendo games, uh, Brain Age, Brain Age, and Brain Boost. These I'm calling them free because um, they were just from my mom. So. We didn't pay for them, um, and they sold for eight dollars plus shipping. Uh, yeah, these are going through the global shipping though. I didn't see how much they paid on their end, but they obviously paid a lot more to get them shipped to wherever they're headed. So, I'll take it. <laughs> Video games are super easy to list, even though I mm -hmm. don't really actually like listing them. <laughs> yeah, there's not a whole lot of value on those old DS brain games. That's why we lotted them up. These are some Osiris gate shoes. So I did well with another pair of these. And so when I saw these, I just grabbed them and I didn't like kind of pay attention to like the edges are a little bit worn down and stuff. So I paid $3.99 for these. I would have listed them probably at 30, but I listed them I think at like 18 because of the flaws. And then we had a sale running. Anyways, this buyer paid $13.60 plus shipping. So I still made a small profit. Yeah. Didn't lose my investment, so glad they sold. Yeah. Oh, those were going through the global shipping program too, so oh, person probably paid a lot more for shipping. <laughs> and I sold. It's funny how things come back into popularity because I, I remember as a kid skating on Osiris shoes. <laughs> Alright, so this is just a J. Crew schoolboy blazer with one of my hairs on it. <laughs> Definitely lint roll that before we bag it up. But um, yeah, I got this at Goodwill for $4.99. I actually found this in the kids section, I think, because it said schoolboy. They thought it was a boy's jacket. <laughs> but it's a women's Literal blazer. schoolboys. <laughs> yeah. So check the kids section, because even if you don't find something like this, there's always money in the kids section. And it's usually priced really cheap. So this one sold for $27.25 plus shipping. These used to go for about $40 plus ship, but... I haven't, this one's been listed a while and it just finally sold, so. I would say they're not really going for that anymore because I have one other listed in a bigger size and that one is not really moving either. Mm. Right, and then A-N. Oh, yeah. Yep, far that way. What is this, Jordan shoes? These Jordans I got from Goodwill for $3.99 and sold them for $27.25 plus shipping. And then this is, I'm glad we sold this. It took me forever to list just because it was ridiculous to photograph. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just this medical boot. I got it from the bins, part of the stimulus check challenge, but it honestly doesn't really look like it's been used, maybe like used once, but yeah. It was yeah. just super awkward to photograph. It didn't fit well on the table. I kept getting like a bunch of stuff in the side view. So anyhow, finally got it listed, sold it for $36.35 plus shipping and I only had a dollar and some change into it. So really good sale. And the best sale of today are these Ariat, Ariat boots. <laughs> So these I got at Goodwill. I did pay up for them $24.99, but they sold for $99.95 plus ship. So yeah, I know it's hard to sometimes spend $25 on a pair of shoes not knowing when it's gonna sell, but that profit, I mean, it's easy to spend a dollar to sell for 10 to 20, but yeah, the real profit is when you can actually pay up for something like this. And then I think we're gonna make probably a uh, $50, $60 profit off of those. So. Well, in starting out, you don't have to start yeah. reselling if you don't have the cash flow nope. to do that. You know, you can work your, your way up into getting 
That's kind of what our stimulus check money. challenge yeah. shows that we can turn six hundred already into almost three grand profit, and then yeah, then you can start buying stuff like twenty five dollar boots to sell for a hundred. So. I mean, a hundred percent. When we were just starting, no. I was we, only not paying more than a dollar. She for was anything. keeping our cost of goods <laughs> to a dollar or less. And, you know, we grew it to where we could do this now, and, and you can too. So just stick in there. If you're not able to do that yet, just keep building that up. I will say if you're going to spend up on anything, a pair of Ariat boots are probably something good to do it. These haven't even been listed 30 days and already sold. So every Ariat, I cannot ever say Ariat. I think either way is acceptable. Every pair of boots of those um, has all sold within 30 days. I, You know what I mean? So. Yeah. There are certain brands that you can definitely make your money back right away. So anyways, that's all for eBay. We had a couple more Facebook sales. One of them was this Harley shirt that we hadn't got put away yet. So <laughs> this one sold for 35 plus shipping. Um, again, I have 1067 into each of those. So yeah, happy with that. Yeah, you can see I've, I folded up a bunch <laughs> of Harley shirts in that bag back away. there. We just haven't It's kind of tricky to put them away because it's all like in our inventory as Harley. And I tried yeah. to put some sort of identifying mark about each of them but it's still there's a lot of gray harley <laughs> or uh, harley yeah, davidson gray plaids in there and yeah. so <laughs> having enough description that's the one kind of hiccup when you have a lot of the same thing you kind of differentiate them when you're doing listings and inventory and stuff <laughs> can be a little more difficult but so this is just a boys o'neill tank top i actually bought this for my son i got it from the once upon a child on a dollar day I bought it like a year or two ago and just put it in his wait till he fits it in and now that he fits it he doesn't like it so i sold it i just posted it last night actually i posted it low it's just an o'neill tank top used um so i posted it all to all platforms but it ended up selling on facebook overnight for seven dollars plus shipping so, not huge money but facebook again the fees are so low i think my fee on this seven dollars was like 54 cents so i'm still making like a five dollar and some change profit off of that and then table, oh, table was the Harley shirt. So that was it for <laughs> Facebook. We did have one Poshmark sale, CV. And these are some Oakley men's snow pants. These are part of the stimulus check challenge. So about a dollar and some change into them. Someone offered me 40 and I took it. So they are a men's nice. small. And at this time of year, I will pretty much accept yeah. any offers on boot. Well, snow I won't gear. Say boots I mean, they will sell good next year. I'm okay holding them, but for something that I have a dollar into, I'll pretty much accept yeah, any offer. That's a really good flip, especially yeah. in May. So <laughs> Snow 40, pants. Yeah, so that $48 goes to Posh, so I still made a $30 profit there. All right, and then last two sales are Mercari Box E. are part of my 65 pair day the brand is zimmerman which i've never sold before i could tell they were nice just by the feel of the leather um i looked them up these retail for like i don't even remember it was over 50 dollars, but the only sold for 17 dollars plus shipping so not quite as common of a brand people have to be searching out for your stuff mm -hmm. to find it and yeah so they took a little bit to sell but again i had four dollars and like i don't remember the exact amount like 68 cents or something i think in each item that day so Right about a ten dollar profit on those, which is what I was shooting for on each item. And when I was moving that to my sold spreadsheet, I did notice that I think I had three more from that day. So I'm sure that was over ninety days ago. I said I hope most of them would sell in ninety days. Yeah. And honestly, most of them sold in thirty days. Yeah. And then they've been slowly selling off. So I mean, three left of sixty five pairs. Yeah. Even this, that's pretty amazing. I yeah. think. And I think I made my money back on what I paid for the whole haul, like in the first week. So. Yeah. All right, and then Bugs D. These little Vans crib shoes I just listed yesterday. They sold on Mercari for $18 plus shipping. Got these at the Once Upon a Child in Denver just a week whenever we went on our trip. Um, they, these technically were only $2.50, but since I averaged my cost of goods this day, it was $5.95. So $5.95 into $18 plus ship. That's it for right now. So we're gonna work on packing this stuff up. I think this boot might give us a little <laughs> trouble, but we'll we'll figure something out and we'll be right back with you guys. All right, got everything packed up. It's been a few, I don't know, about an hour and we did have one more sale come in. So we're gonna pull that real quick. 
Effie made a box for it already, but. So these are just some Clarks that we got when we were in Nebraska. I paid $3.99 for them and sold them on Facebook Marketplace for 20 plus shipping. Very nice. We'll just put that in, probably put a little bit of paper in there to void fill. And this was the medical boot. Right, so we were gonna show you guys about that. So yeah, we had plenty of boxes that could fit it, but to do that, it was making the dimensions too big. And yeah. we've been talking about this a lot lately, uh -huh. but yeah, so even the smallest box that pretty much fit it exactly would be, basically it jumped the shipping up from $16 to like $40, cause this is going to Florida. Um, I charged calculated shipping because I knew it was going to be pricey anyway, so the buyer paid like $17.20, I think. Um, so we were able to get the label since we put it in a bag, so we bubble wrapped it really good and then double bagged it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully no issues with that, but yeah, we were able to get it for like $16.28 this way. But yeah, like I said, if we put it in the box that we had, it was like $40. $3 yeah. and, some change, so. and the cost of goods on it is so low. We're not worried about, you know, if it gets damaged or whatever, we'll refund yeah. the buyer. We're not out that whole much, you know, we're out, what, two bucks if that yeah. shipping I material. Mean, I feel like the bubble wrap. Should it's be very protected. It's, I don't think anything's going to happen. No. Stuff rarely happens to but us. Then, yeah, like even if the outer bag gets ripped, there's an inner bag and then there's the plastic wrap and then the, the bag that itself the was in a boot. Yeah. yeah, so I think it's good. And I mean, we've done this with other pairs of shoes. Yeah, we send and shoes with a uh, padded flat rate all the time. Nobody's so ever said. This is <laughs> technically more protected than a padded flat rate, so. Yeah, and we did try pirate ship again, but that was actually 50 cents more, more. Mm -hmm. at the very cheapest we could get it. And again, that's because this boot could not fit in an 18 inch mailer on its own. Because it's 18 inches tall. Right. Or 17 inches tall by itself. And there's no way that it would fit in an 18 inch. So. But it was like, what, like five pounds how much did it weigh yeah it was four or five pound weight yeah so four pounds going to florida and that ended up being what 13 Six, 16 bucks 16 28 i think yeah so, not too bad yeah the buyer paid for that like yeah. people are always like mentioning why would you pay so much for shipping like i'm not paying them for <laughs> shipping i charge the buyer the shipping yeah the boot i charged 36 dollars and i get all that money plus i, I get the mm. shipping but i spent the shipping other, I mean, I'll pocket like a few cents off the shipping, so. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're gonna add in, cause tomorrow is Saturday. Saturday is usually uh, like a half day for us. So we'll probably only have seven or so, five to seven sales by tomorrow. We're just gonna start talking about those right now and that'll finish up this video. All right guys, it's about 10.30 Saturday morning and we had some more sales. So we're gonna start picking them right now. Yeah, we had a pretty good overnight. So eBay first on the shoe rack. I sold some New Balance golf. Do you call them cleats or shoes? Uh, golf shoes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're cleats. And even though they have like spikes in them. So these are, yeah, New Balance. These are size 15, extra, extra, extra wide. Some big boys. <laughs> yeah, so I was a little hesitant to pick them up just on the size because I haven't really done well with size 15, but I knew somebody would want them, so I grabbed them. Um, I paid $7.99. They sold for $36.35 plus shipping. And they sold fairly quick. Yeah, less than a month for sure. Quicker than we were ever I expecting. I think I got those maybe at the Castle Rock, so when we went on our Denver trip on the way down. Okay. So that was only like a week or two ago, right? So CL. I don't know. All these weeks are just <laughs> molding together. <laughs> These are some, my last pair of the Roan swim trunks. I really wish they had more of these. So I grabbed every pair that they had um, back at, on the Labor Day sale, retail arbitrage. So $10 in, this last pair sold for 27, 25 plus shipping. But yeah, I more than doubled my money on pretty much every pair, I think. So that was a really good buy. I got a ton that day, not only Roan, but other brands as well. I really love selling swim trunks. Yeah. <laughs> And then AJ. This is Zenergy by Chico's. I've never sold Zenergy before, but um, I like any like athletic wear that kind of has like a stretch to it. So this was just from the Denver Goodwill bins. So about a dollar and some change into it, and it sold for 18 plus ships. So 
not too bad. That sold fast too. And then this next one is also from that same, from the Denver bins. Now this is the Catherine's plus size linen 3X top. And this sold for $22.70 plus ship. So about a dollar into $22.70. And that, that was part of the stimulus check challenge. Yeah, both yeah. of those last two, so. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then last eBay sale was actually these Carhartt pants. So these were from the same day that I got all that Harley stuff. So the average cost of goods again was ten sixty seven, And I just listed these late last night. Listed them at 50 plus shipping. We do have a, I think 9% off sale running, just a random amount. And so they sold for 45, 45 plus ship overnight. And Very that is nice. awesome. It's funny because- That's like I more than have, retail, isn't it? <laughs> I might have underpriced them, yeah. But when I looked them up, they only cost like 50 bucks new and you could still buy them. I mean, they didn't have this color on the site. I don't know if people like this color brown, but- I wonder if the manufacturing has changed and like these older ones yeah, are more maybe. desirable than the newer ones. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I was happy. I, I mean, I checked comps on eBay and they were selling between 40 to 50. So I listed on the high end thinking I'd have to send an offer, but I didn't. Um, I did get an offer on Mercari last night for them for 25 with free shipping <laughs> to somebody who had the same types of pants in their shop for basically what I was asking for mine. So that always annoys me when people try to ask for a, like a low price and then they are selling the same stuff for more. It is one of your biggest pet peeves. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, so you know, was, everybody wants a deal. That's the thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, 25 though on some Carhartt pants. That's a little bit low. <laughs> All right, so Poshmark, one sale. There's these girls' Choco sandals. So I got these at, where did I get them here? Wrote down the price, but not right. Got them. Uh, once wanted child, average cost of goods this day was $6. So these um, sold for 30. That was an offer someone sent me. And so 30 and six into 30 and then i get 24 off of posh so pretty good little flip love selling choco all right let me add kid is in so these because it's still kid economy i think through today i've been trying to list at least five items every day to kind of boost my shop um so last night i listed a bunch of my son's childhood hoodies that he's about to outgrow and i think i listed seven and i sold four of them like right wow. away so uh, the first one was this one this is just the color rust that's what they call it anyways and then this one sold for 35 free shipping i believe i got this off kitism for like 25 a while back so i'm probably just breaking even on that and then these three sold to the same person they sold in like three separate transactions because she i mean it takes me a while to like list an item because normally i'll list then I get distracted by something else. Because you were listing directly to kid is yeah, in. You like weren't we going were through our normal. stuff last normal. night. And yeah. I was just kind of listing from the car. Or we took our kids to Sky Zone. So I listed some there. And yeah, so it wasn't like fast that I was getting them up. So she just checked out every time she saw something she liked. So I did refund her some of the shipping. But she paid total for these three hoodies. $125 plus shipping. So yeah. <laughs> she also is the same person who bought the two the other day for like 90 something so she was messaging me asking if i had more and <laughs> so i i guess i had some of the prints that people really are searching for so uh, this one was the constellation so this one is a really good one to look out for the print um it had some flaws which mm. i obviously showed it's got like yeah. star constellations and then this is just called deep teal so they haven't remade this color i think and people really love it so they do pay good money for it if you have it um also these are my favorite are the 100 percent cotton hoodies and they don't most of the ones they make now are like half polyester and they just like get really pilly in the wash and stuff even if you hang dry which we do so a lot of people love the 100 percent cotton ones which this one is too but this is also like a novelty hoodie of theirs so it has their I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand why people like them. I mean, I like them. You like them. <laughs> I like them for retail. Like I wouldn't pay over retail. So this one I priced at fifty. You know what I mean? And I think retail's forty. So yeah. I mean, I like that. This is why I buy this stuff for my kids because I know they can wear it. I do like it. I think they it's retain cute their value. On them, and I can almost always break even. So. Yeah. Yeah. So those were the four hoodies that sold so far, and I'm sure the other three will sell off soon. Here, I'll probably cross post them today. Do we know if they were a viewer? I don't think so. Okay. Well, well if you are a viewer, so thank you so much for 
You got clearing out our hoodies. <laughs> I'm actually really sad because these are my favorites too, and they're just like size three and four T. So he's about to be five in a couple months, and I'm just getting all the summer clothes out, so he won't fit those again come fall. So I'm just trying to clear them out. All right, so that was it for kiddos in, and then we did have a Facebook sale just before we started recording. Stops in my way. Was a Revere Wear pot, and for some reason it was not typed in my spreadsheet, so I'm not actually sure where I got it. Um, it wasn't from the estate sale, and it wasn't the one that Chris got on his thing. And I don't think I got this at the bin, so I'm guessing I got it at a normal Goodwill. In which case, it was probably $4.99 or $5.99. I don't think they really price anything above that, so I'm gonna say $5.99 just to be safe. Well, you would say $4.99 to be safe. Well, well, I'm just saying for, oh, $4.99. So because that would mean you would pay more taxes. Yeah. So if, <laughs> if you aren't ever sure, just do your best guess. Yeah. This is not tax advice. This is, <laughs> but um, if you wanted to be extremely safe, just say you got it for free. That way you can pay <laughs> as much taxes as possible on your profits um, when it comes to the IRS and all that. And make sure you type in your inventory right away. Yes. <laughs> so that was my That's the best thing to do. In type in your <laughs> type in your cost of goods as early as possible so that you don't forget the price cuz when you're when you're selling 400 things a month, yeah. you forget stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I know I probably got to add to Goodwill and I know they don't charge that much for the pots, so. All right. So that was it for Facebook and then last up is Mercari. So on the top shelf I sold some boots. These ones are some women's Cabela's boots. I did pay sort of up for these. I paid $12.99 and then I accepted a $30 offer, which isn't huge. I thought they'd sell for about 40 plus shipping, but they've been listed a few months. So I was happy to accept and I pretty much just doubled my money and I'm okay with that. <laughs> and then AK. These are some Stride Right little kid shoes. So I actually kind of regretted buying these. I got them at the JBF sale. So since I averaged my cost of goods, they came out to $6.56, even though I think they were only like $3 at the sale. Um, excuse me. And then I, I accepted a $14 offer on them because I just wanted to move them. So mm -hmm. again, not huge money, but every, it's still a seven, little bit chips away. $8 profit or so, yeah, right? And pays the bills, so. The last sale of the morning. We used to work for less than seven dollars an hour, That's dear. True. I my <laughs> first job was Subway, and I made five fifteen. Yeah. And then when I asked for a raise after a year, I think he gave me like a nickel. So <laughs> I shortly quit after that and found a better job, which still was only like eight dollars an hour. <laughs> so I'm very happy to be able to have found reselling, and I enjoy it, and it makes enough money to pay our bills. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so anyways, last sale of today is these Crocs. So these ones took a while to sell. I don't know why. They're in, like, perfect condition. They're a nice color, I thought. <laughs> um, they pretty much don't have, like, any wear on them. But they took a while to sell. So I accepted a $15 offer. I have four fifty dollars into these from Once Upon a Child. That's it? Yeah, that's it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pack this stuff up and probably get it all off to the post office and then we'll talk about our board and all that stuff so stick around all right guys it is now three o'clock saturday and kathy went ahead and took that stuff off to the post office and I, you went to uh, pick up something from facebook marketplace yeah uh yeah i saw so i was just like browsing marketplace this morning i don't normally buy anything on there but i don't know i'm just like interested in it now that we're selling on it and yeah i was just browsing i saw some a new that brand that I like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I like selling it. And I saw some shoes listed for $10 thinking, oh, they're going to be plus shipping. So I opened the listing and they live just like a couple miles away. So, I was like, so oh, it was cool. local pickup. Yeah. yeah. And so I messaged them, hey, are these available? And they said yes. So took the packages, picked that up 10 bucks for a pair of uh, new shoes and they should sell for 40 to 50, I'd say. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. We've, uh, we've kind of been working getting stuff yeah, kathy got some more listings so we can talk about the board <laughs> <laughs> um yeah we were gonna go over the board we've had a really good week this week both yeah. listing and sales so then i came home from the post office our kids are napping so 
Um, yeah, I wanted I wanted to do 125 this week. Right now we're at 122. Well, if I'm over 100, I'm happy. Yeah. If I do 150, I'm like extremely happy. So I was trying to do at least 125. And it's kind of we fell a little short last month. Of our goal, we well, we did yeah, more than we did 100 over a week. 400, yeah. So yeah, we did 122 this week, and then total um, gross. Totally, yeah. Three six four one. That doesn't include any shipping or right. anything in that. And then like. Also, we run sales and offers and stuff yeah. like that. So that's my listed price of inventory. So I have mentioned I like to at least try to net profit to $100 a day. So mm -hmm. I like to list at least two times that, which comes out to 2800 So I did way more yeah. than that. So, yeah. yeah. Eventually, you know, I want more than I'm going to want more than that. And if we ever have to hire help, I want to have enough money to pay them. So Yeah, which... Might be sooner <laughs> rather than later. We've we've kind of been talking, throwing around the idea of getting a photographer um, or someone that'll take photos and fold and package the clothing items for us. And <laughs> oh, and measure, yeah, the adult yeah, items. We really just don't like to do. So I don't know. That's something that's still in infancy phase of ideas. We haven't really planned anything out or, or you know done anything other than talking about it. But I do think that would be the very first thing that we would want to hire out um obviously we, we don't we're not interested in hiring employees hourly employees or anything it would be contract contractual is that a word <laughs> it would be basically price per item kind of thing um 1099 but yeah that's uh kind of what we have going on right now and the office is still it's not, it's not okay it's organized mess okay this all has <laughs> Um, it's all in a different phase of the, in the business. Um, this week, we're probably going to be listing, not this week, next week, which is actually after Mother's Day, which this video is probably going up on Mother's Day or after, after Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all you wonderful mothers out there. Um, but yeah, th this week we're going to be listing these shoes. I think we have Stuff some more Harley, yeah, half of the Harley Harley shirts there. I did most of the Harley shirts, so there's a few in there. The other stuff's like the miscellaneous. I bought some pants, jeans, and a couple of pairs of, well, the shoes are on the rack. Yeah. Pulled up 12 more some bras. Some bras to list. Um, and then, yeah, these are pants. So these have been in actually our, our personal closet downstairs for the <laughs> longest time because they were just very wrinkly. So I steamed them um, to get all the wrinkles out. Yeah. I mean, as many as I could. That's... Not a job I like to do. Yeah, so. that's a. It's kind of why I started like liking shoes a lot more than clothes, because just clothes, and they're not going to sell for a ton of money either, mm -hmm. and they just take a lot of. You have to measure. You have to. A lot of effort. Them. Yeah. So, I'm not saying I'm never going to do clothes, but I'm kind of over clothes for the most part. Um, and I think that ebbs and flows. You know, there's times where we're tired of shoes times where we're tired of hard goods you know we just that's the cool thing about working for yourself you can cycle shoes yet. <laughs> <laughs> well i get tired of like scrubbing shoes you know these are just some more that's a little bit more from our stimulus haul um pants so yeah it's gonna be a pants and shoes week i think <laughs> yeah we definitely have enough on hand ready to go to list for next week i think we should no problem hit our hundred listing minimum next week uh, obviously, we're going to try for more, you know, more in the 125 to 150 range like we did this week. Um, that seems perfectly manageable for us. So, yeah, that's what's going on in the office here today and this weekend. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this What's Old video. We're going to call it a day and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.